video will show you how to create a Google site, edit it, add content, and share it to the world. You have to first log in to your Google account. Then you're going to click on Sites. Once in Sites, you can click the Create button. Here's where you give your site a name. We're going to call it Novels. We're going to start from a blank template, but you can also browse the gallery for some other ideas. It creates a URL based on the title that you gave your site. Here's also where we can pick a theme. You can browse through all the themes, but I'd like the legal pad theme. And you click Create. Just as simply as that, you've created your Google site. We would like to add some pages, though, on our site, so we're going to go in the upper right-hand corner and click New Page. Once you've done that, you've got to name your page. We're going to have a Frindle reading group, and you have some choices on web page, what type of web page to add. We're going to add a web page which allows us to add text, links, embed code, and even attach files. And you can tell it where we want to put that page. We're going to keep it at the top level. We're also going to add another page for Ramona. Same way, we're going to keep it at the top level. Now, I would like to add a page under Frindle for Group 1. So I'm going to start out the same way, create a web page, but I am, I don't want it under top level and I don't want to put it under Ramona, so I'm going to choose a different location and I want to pick Frindle and I'm going to click create. I have my navigation just like I like it, so I'm going to click save. Now let's say I would like to move group one down to Ramona. If you want to switch pages around once they've been created, go into more and go into manage sites. Here you can click on pages to the left and you can simply click and drag to move the pages. If there's a plus sign, click on that. It will expand out the group and we see group one is under Frindle. If we actually want to move it under Ramona, we just click and drag. I'm going to go back to Novels. You'll notice Group 1 is now under Ramona. So let's go add some content to Group 1. When I click the plus sign, you'll see a toolbar where I can um, manage the font, the point size, bolding, italics, underline, the colors of my font. I can add links, bullet points, indent, and take any, if I copy and paste information, I can remove formatting or I can em embed. So, I am first going to go to my YouTube channel because I have a video that I want my students to use. So I have my uh, movie up, I click on share and embed, I get the code, do a command C to copy, go back into my group page, and I had to click the pencil to get into editing mode and then I simply click the HTML and just paste that code in and click Update. You won't actually see the YouTube video, but there's a placeholder for it, so I know it inserted correctly. I can also add any kind of file for the students to download or to use. I can link to this file inside my web page. So I'm going to add an instruction page. I'm going to click and open. So I click the Add Files. Oh. I'm actually, I forgot to save this page. So I want to save my YouTube changes. And it's nice that it warns you. So now I'm going to go down and add that file. So I click on Instructions, click Open and it's uploading the file. 
Now the trick to this is, if you don't want the kids to have to download it, you can hover over the file and click Control, copy that link. Inside the page, check these instructions for information. I can make any text linked by clicking, typing the text in, highlighting it, clicking the link. It's a web address and I want the word instructions to link to that PDF which the address is there. Click OK. Now when they click the word instructions it will actually open that PDF. There are many other things that you can insert into a Google site. You can insert an image. You have to just upload and choose the file, insert it right in. You can also insert a Google Doc, a Google Drawing. You can insert a link from YouTube or Google Video. You can also link a Google Presentation or Google Spreadsheet. Once you get your pages just like you like it, you save it, and then you want to share it. You click on the blue share button in the upper right, and you can change the permissions. You can make it public on the web so anyone can view it, any of your parents um, can see it from home. You can uh, make it a link within the school district that that someone has to sign in from our Google accounts to be able to access it or it can be private just with the people that you list in the email. And you can add certain email names here. There you have it, a Google site.